Exploring existing solutions by Alyssa. Solution number one, natural preservatives. The topic of chemistry is chemical components, or sorry, chemical compounds and how they bond. So parabens can be used, which are non-toxic and odorless preservatives, and vinegar could also be used. So the history, the Babylonians in 5000 BC used the fruit of a date palm with vinegar and wine to preserve or pickle their food. They would do this also in ancient um, Europe and with the Greeks and Romans in order to keep their food fresh for the winter by drying up grains. So how to implement this? Uh, Companies at schools, this is a solution that does not already national, it's just in some schools, um, companies who make and purchase food uh, attempt to ensure that they buy food that only uses natural preservatives and not artificial preservatives. Um, Some barriers though, which is that these are too expensive a lot of the times and they may not appeal to students since vinegar could also slightly alter tastes, but um, as long as you use the parabens, it normally keeps it pretty natural. I think those two got switched, sorry. Solution two, topic of chemistry, is macromolecules and body systems, and it is requiring students to take a milk at lunch. So the history is the National School Lunch Program required milk to be provided at all schools in the United States. This happened a few years ago in early 2000s. So two milk choices must be offered at all times and they can have flavor in them or not. So like chocolate milk, strawberry milk, um, they're all fine. And they have to be fat free or low fat. So implementation is This is a national program, obviously, and schools that require these um, have their people who hand out lunches ensure that all students take these items. Milk is filled with protein, which is very important for growing bodies. So barriers is that students will often just throw away their milk and fruit, um, which is also required once they get it. And there's no way to control if students will consume these items. Solution three, uh, food oxidation. So topic of chemistry is reactions and oxidation. History is that lipid oxidation was discovered in the 1800s and 1900s by a group of chemists who looked at the flavors of oxidized food and oils and fats. Uh, Implementation is they could work with school districts to keep food out of the light since they um, often can cause food oxidation and having schools remove pre-oxidants from their food, which can be done through food manufacturers. This is already happening throughout the United States, especially the light one with frequent checks by um, government organizations to ensure that schools are monitoring the like health of their food and how it's stored. Barriers is obviously is an issue with how you monitor it since uh, you can't always have someone being there to check it. And it can often be too expensive um, to make food without fatty acids, which are pre- a pre-oxidant. So that is it, but um, there are many solutions to creating food lunches, which are healthy for students. And these are just some um, solutions that have been proposed in the past. Thank you.